Hon to war Hon Piniamin and Adipa Te Pona to war was a noted Maori New Zealand poet. He is closely associated with the Catlins in the Southland region of New Zealand, where he lived for the latter part of his life. Tuor was born in Kaiko, Northland, into the Ngapui tribe. Following the death of his mother, his family shifted to Auckland, where Hone attended primary schools in Avondale, Monterey, and Ponsonby. He apprenticed as a boilermaker with the New Zealand Railways and took night classes in mathematics, trade drawing and trade theory at Seton Memorial Technical College and Otahuhu College. Tuor spoke Maori until he was about nine, and his father, an accomplished orator and storyteller, encouraged his son's interest in the written and spoken word, especially in the rhythms and imagery of the Old Testament. Starting in 1939, Tuor, encouraged by fellow poet R.A.K. Mason, began to write while working as an apprentice at the Otahuhu Railway Workshops. In 1956, Tuor started writing seriously after resigning from a local branch of the Communist Party. His first, and arguably best-known work, no Ordinary Son, was published in 1964 to widespread acclaim and subsequently reprinted ten times over the next thirty years. Becoming one of the most widely read individual collections of poetry in New Zealand history. When Dewar's poems first began to appear in the late 1950s and early 1960s they were recognized as a new departure in New Zealand poetry, cutting across the debates and divisions between the 1930s and post-war generations. Much of the work's originality was the result of their distinctly Maori perspective. The poems were marked by their tonal variety, the naturalness with which they could move between formal and informal registers, between humor and pathos. Intimacy and controlled anger and, especially, in their assumption of easy vernacular familiarity with New Zealand readers. During the 1970s Tuor became involved in Maori cultural and political initiatives. This same era also saw his international reputation grow with invitations to visit both China and Germany, which, among other opportunities, lead to the publication of Was Wireclicker Ist A.L.S. Sterben in 1985. While his earlier poems were kept in print, new work was constantly produced. Tuor's play, In the Wilderness Without a Hat, was published in 1991. Three further collections of poetry then followed, Short Back and Sideways, Poems and Prose, Deep River Talk, and Shapeshifter. In 1999 he was named New Zealand's second Te Mata Poet Laureate, the outcome of which was the publication Piggyback Moon. The poet moved to Kaka Point in South Otago in 1992, and many of his later poems reflected the scenery of the Catlins area, and the seafood available. He had a strong working relationship with fellow Otago artist Ralph Hotair, and their work often referenced each other. Tuor's poem Rain was in 2007 voted New Zealand's favourite poem by a clear margin. Poetry by Tuor was included in Apu, a curation of Pacific Island writers' work which was first presented at the Sila Theatre as part of the Auckland Arts Festival in March 2020. Apu was remounted as part of the Kiamau Festival in Wellington in June 2021. Tuor was awarded the Robert Burns Fellowship from the University of Otago in 1969 and again in 1974. He was awarded the University of Auckland Literary Fellowship in 1991. In 1999, he was named New Zealand's second Te Mata Poet Laureate. At the end of his two-year term he published Piggyback Moon, which was shortlisted in the 2002 Montana New Zealand Book Awards. Tuor was among ten of New Zealand's greatest living artists named as Arts Foundation of New Zealand Icon Artists at a ceremony in 2003. In 2003, Tuor was awarded one of the inaugural Prime Minister's Awards for Literary Achievement, for Poetry. The other winners were novelist Janet Frame and historian Michael King. Each recipient received a cash prize of 60,000 New Zealand dollars. The awards are aimed at New Zealand writers who have made an outstanding contribution to the nation's literary and cultural history. Tuor received an honorary Doctor of Literature degree from the University of Auckland in 2005. At the time of his death Tuor was described as New Zealand's most distinguished Maori writer. In July 2010 the Hone Tuor Charitable Trust was formed in honour of Tuor. Their goal is, to inspire people through the preservation, promotion, and celebration of Hone's legacy. Memorial plaque dedicated to Tuor in Dunedin, on the Writer's Walk on the Octagon. Thanks for watching.